This innocent man engages in a contentious interaction with a police officer during a traffic stop. As always, the officer said his favorite words, identify yourself. The officer wanted to ID everyone sitting in the car. Man challenges the officer's motives and refuses to comply without a warrant or supervisor present. However, the officer asserts that he has the right to identify everyone in the car, even though the individual is not driving and there is no valid reason for the stop. I mean, really? Does the passenger also have to ID? Later, the man kept on requesting the supervisor. The officer gets triggered and becomes super aggressive, forcefully tried to get him out of the car. Watch what happens next. Share your thoughts in the comments. Okay. You're pulled for lawful reason, therefore we I'm have- I'm not driving. Right, but there's, we have legal reason to identify everybody in the car. No, no you don't. Okay. Your, 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 your scope of authority stops no. with the driver. No, we can identify everybody in the car. Here you go with this, sir. So, can, can we get supervisor, please? There's two ways. Yeah, he's supervisor. in the way. There's two That's ways. Fine. That's fine. You can either give it to us or we can- Give you what? Your identification. We need to find out who you are. Why me? Because you're in the car. I'm not driving. I understand. But what, what's the reason for me to- Pull somebody over, we can identify anybody in the car. No, you can't. Yes. You're wrong. I, I'll challenge you on that. Okay. One forty-eight point G. We need to open the door. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Can I, I'll, I'll, we'll sit here and wait for your supervisor. But you're you're on the very wrong. You're violating my rights. You're about to violate my rights. Whoa, 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 that's one you're not supposed to have, right? No, no, absolutely not. Illegal. Absolutely not. You're not on permission for all nothing absolutely. like that? He literally just got off of work. Okay, that's yeah, fine. Like, I, I, I don't consent to no search and no, or no seizures or nothing like that. So I, I if, if you, you, you can terror search me, that's, all, that's fine. But okay, you you're not- You right here, right? Yeah, small wallet. Do I'm not, right. no, no, absolutely not. I do not consent to any of that. That's fine. You're not I do not right? consent to any of that. No, no, that's fine. <sighs> Whoa, oh, there you go. Um, obviously, so, um, under what am I arrested for? Okay. You're not under arrest, I just told you that. No, no, but, but you're arresting me. You're, you have handcuffs on me. I'm going to handcuff you just to make sure everybody's safe. So I don't get hurt, you don't get hurt, nothing like no, that. No, but now, no, no, that's absolutely wrong. You're violating my rights right now. Babe, make sure you record everything, babe, okay? Yes. Make sure you record everything. Every single thing. Right on top, right on top in here. That's fine because you're already violating my rights. Right? Make sure uh, he, he's, he's going through my wallet. No, no, make sure, get that wallet. There's, there's other stuff you need to get. There's other stuff. What else is there? There's paperwork in there saying that I'm off of probation and everything. Okay. Yeah, so go ahead and get that. That's what, I just want to know who you are. No, no, that's, you're violating my rights right now. You're violating my rights. You know that. You no, can, you, I'm not you, no, yeah, because I'm not driving, so what, why are you searching me? Because we can identify anybody in the car. No, absolutely not. For what reason? I'm not driving. I'm not driving at all. I understand. So why are you searching me? Because we can identify anybody in the car. Absolutely not. No, 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 no. I'm not driving. Your scope of authority stops the driver. Okay. So my wife is, is recording you right now. So no, everything you're doing, yeah, everything you're doing right now is mm -hmm. being documented. So you know you're wrong. No, you no, know no, that. No. Yes. Your scope of authority stops with the driver. Okay. Right or not? Oh, well, not right. But you're just gonna say the same what's thing. Your name, what's your name, so? Benjamin? What's that? Name Benjamin. Jeffrey Taylor. Please say it to the phone, please. I'm talking to you. Not uh, badge number. Badge number, please. Badge number, please. Number. Is that what you say to the, to the, to the judge? I've never given a judge a badge number. Oh, is that right? Huh? Badge number, please. Name your badge number. You're looking right at it. Is that what you say to the, to the judge? You tell the judge you're looking right at it? Is that what you say to the judge? 2282, babe. 2282. Look it. Go ahead and look at my wallet. I'm not probation. I'm not. Uh, any any yeah, kind of I'm not one I I live I know. I'm moving so, Table Valley. Why are you because like, because you guys I'm, like, like, I'm like, moving Table Valley in one experience. I'm like, like no 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 please my wife because I'm in a passenger seat with my wife and my kids and you guys are IDing me and having handcuffs for what reason? Remember that happened this happened to dad before okay. They just think that they're doing their job and they're just... Okay? I love I love Benny with all of his heart! He loves you with all his heart. Go cry. <laughs> badge number? I don't know his badge number. You don't know his... But what's his uh, last name? 
Baylor. Baylor? Yeah. Okay, Baylor. And, and, and what's your name and badge number? Deputy Dominguez. Okay, and the badge number? Cool, thanks. Um, I know it's nothing against you guys, but you guys will be hearing right. from us, all right? All right? Thank you guys. Got, got a, a quarter of my kids in the back. They had me in handcuffs. I just got released from the handcuffs out of the out of the SUV back there from the cops. They released me and they had me in handcuffs and in the car because I did not want to show them my license, my ID. Apparently because, and I'm in the passenger seat as you guys can see. Here's my wife right here. Here's my wife. And I'm in the passenger seat and they had me in handcuffs and me in the back seat because I did not want to show them my ID even though I wasn't driving or doing anything wrong. Law enforcement officers wanted to enter this man's house without any search warrant. The man, frustrated by this, explains that nobody from his house had called the authorities. He refused to provide his name or identify the patient they were looking for who was on vacation and had explicitly asked them to stop sending police to his house. He is fed up with the repeated visits, but as always, the officer ignored him and kept on asking the same stupid question. Watch the video and share your thoughts in the comments. The quicker you help us, the quicker we're out of here, man. Look, I just helped you. I just told you what you needed to know. I understand. You're, You're approaching my house. Vacation. There's no emergency. There's no phone call. Nobody called you and told you it was an emergency. Somebody You're did off. Call. Nobody called. Well, we're here for welfare. That's a guarantee. That is that's a guarantee that nobody called. No, sir, actually, that's why we're here, because someone did call. Somebody called and said what? They called and said they wanted us to do a well check here. The well check. Yeah. You know who called? Somebody that works for y'all. Nobody called from this house and said that there was an emergency for you to come and be on the be side of my house. house. What? It doesn't need to be from this house specifically. Nobody called. Check. Nobody I called. Call, I called the house. No one answered. Listen, man. Listen. What you're doing is wrong right now. It's not. You're checking on a patient yeah. that is that told you already. Are you the doctor that sees her? No. Huh? No, the doctor. She told her. She left a, a very, very, very vivid message on her voicemail telling her to stop sending police officers to my house when y'all can't get in contact with her. Uh -huh. She's okay. It's the summertime. She's on vacation. She's fine. Do you even stop. Know I can reach her? No, I do not. I don't appreciate how you came, so at this point you're gonna have to wait until she contact you. I'm not gonna cooperate with you. I don't have to. I'm not your patient. You don't have a call. You don't know my name. So don't assume like you do. This is not an emergency. So I would appreciate. Name's Gerard. She, she, you said what? Name's Gerard. You don't know nothing about me. My name is not Gerard. She's not here. I would appreciate if y'all stop calling the police. This is like the second or okay, third time. We're, we're another stop agency. doing it. I understand what y'all doing, me. but stop doing it. Listen. Because you're somebody gonna eventually, you eventually, they're somebody. gonna not like me. Because I'm, I'm, I don't appreciate this. We're and the more you call them, they're gonna respond Everybody to an emergency. You said what? Everybody this is not doing your job when the patient told you to stop doing it. Y'all need to communicate with each other. Sir, you don't give it, but I'll, sir. Someone called us from Orangeburg Service Center. I don't work for Orangeburg Service Center, okay? Just, was you told to touch my door? Look, look what? Look what, you're not gonna easy, violate me. I'm not, not gonna make it easy man. for you. I'm not gonna make it easy for okay. you. You got the wrong one. Okay. I'm not gonna make it easy. So your wife, is, you're saying your wife is okay. I never told you who she was. You said Stop your wife guessing. You said your wife. I never you said, said wife. I never told so, you who so, she so, was. Sir, so we're getting the information, listen. We're getting information from Orangeburg Service Center. So speak they to them. Us. Stop sending police to my house. So they called us. This is not what I want. This is This is what I don't do. Based on the history of this house, we had to engage the police. The, the history of this house. Yes, there is no history. Them. Well, they're telling us that there is, so we had to come out with PD to be safe. Listen, to you guys. stop you guys coming to my house safe. for this patient with police officers around well, my house. I don't appreciate it. No, system. you have to work something out with your patient. She's stop sending patient. police. You're not listening to me. You're not you know, you're not listening to me. No, I am listening to you. And Contact them and tell them to stop sending police to my house. I live on a dead end block with children. This is bad look for me. Stop sending police to my house. I'm done with it. Next time y'all do it, I'm, huh? I don't work there. But you're here, right? I work you're here, right? Agency. Tell them you're never coming to this house again with I police can't, officers. I can't do that. Well, then I can't. you're gonna have a bigger problem next time. All right, well, we'll see what happens when that happens. Neighbors called the cops on this lady because she was shaking her ass. She was approached by a police officer while sitting on her porch reading to her puppy. This innocent woman is being harassed multiple times by the neighbors. The officers are trying to enter in her house without any reason. Despite no misconduct report, she was instructed to contact the sheriff for further handling. Watch the video and share your thoughts in the comments. 
here's the here's the it's the 21st yeah. of july 2024 and officer right, came out here about me shaking my ass okay is there anything right? else you need is that what you're telling me though i came out here for neighborhood neighbor problems okay and what was the neighbor problem though Ma you I, said somebody I, complained I to, that, that i shook my ass obviously an ongoing issue between you two okay I never said anything to anybody today. Okay, you didn't say anything. They never said you said anything. But you're, it's clearly an ongoing problem. And there was something that happened. But that what they happened? Said that you should, yes. So, ma'am, is there anything else you need? No, officer, I just want you to explain to me. I, I'm telling you, I never said anything to anybody over there. I never got in an argument with anybody over there today. And I'm sitting on my porch reading a book, me and my puppy. As a matter of fact, I'm reading to my yeah, puppy. That's what you were doing when we showed up. Right. But you're saying that you got a call and you responded I have to, to a respond call. To calls when I get called. And okay. the call that was I made am, today I've, was I've that I shook my ass. You were doing something inappropriate. Okay? Inappropriate. And you were sitting on there. I bam. I I'm not. Why are they saying that I, I was naked? Okay. I mean, what are they saying that I did? Masturbated? I don't do that. No, there's no report because you didn't do anything wrong, okay? But so, is it, can I make a report for false reports? No, they never made a report that you did anything but wrong. But they called they you. Concerned. They called they you. Me being African American and then the cops coming out, y'all could have came out here with 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 some type of hidden agenda. Is there, is there she put my life in jeopardy. Else you need today? We are, we're extremely busy, okay? Is there anything else? I didn't call for right, you. Then we're going to head out of here. Okay, have a great day. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel. Our goal is to educate people on First Amendment rights. Make sure you like our videos as much as possible. We will see you in the next video.